I thought that's pretty good, but I thought of a better challenge, which is the eight week Photoshop challenge. <laughs> I took it and after two weeks, I was ripped with a six pack. <laughs> and after eight weeks, I was black with double D boobs. <laughs> that's an eight week change. Technology is moving pretty fast. I saw this ad on TV for a Daikon air conditioner where a husband walks into the room and the wife's like, thanks for the coffee, hun. The husband's like, I didn't make you a coffee. And then they stare at the air conditioner like it's so smart it can make a coffee. I thought, okay, these ads are promising a lot out of technology. What are we going to see next? Like a guy walks into a room and he's like, you vacuumed my house. Toaster, was that you? <laughs> Who paid off my mortgage? Washing machine. <laughs> How did I get custody back of the children? Toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I get annoyed at how quickly the novelty wears off um, for myself and people. Like a year ago, I called my first Uber and I was so excited. I was like, thank you so much for getting me 2 a.m. and you're coming to get me on a Tuesday and you're giving me a water? Hell yes. And then a year later, I call an Uber and I'm like, three minutes, where the hell is this idiot? And he's just spitting around on my phone. And then I get in and I'm like, I want my minty. Where is my minty? But one thing with a novelty is pretty consistent is boats. Why is it when there's people on a boat and they see another person on a the boat, they're so excited they just start waving? It's like they're saying, we're usually on land. The other person's like, I know, we're usually on land. I think part of the reason why it's so exciting is you don't have to actually stop and chat when you're on a boat. Like, sometimes I want to replicate that experience of uh, being on a boat, but I can't afford it. So I just start waving on the street to someone, and they'll be like, hello? And I'll be like, I don't know what to do now. I'm usually on a boat. <laughs> Boats are cool. You can party on a boat. It's a great place to party. But another place where people party is the party bus, which is just a bus with loud music and low lighting. Like if you think about it, on a party boat you can get drunk in the middle of the ocean. But on a party bus you can get drunk in traffic. <laughs> it's like, whoa, we are young, wild and free and stuck behind this tram going five kilometers an hour. I remember when I was last on a party bus, it was about 1pm and I was drunk and yelling out the windows. Then everyone was staring at me so I couldn't wait to tap my mic key and get out of there. <laughs> It wasn't actually a party bus, it might have been the 67 to Box Hill. <laughs> One way that um, companies get users uh, these days, like software companies, is with a referral bonus. You get your friend to sign up and you both get $50 off the next time you use that product. These days I'm in a relationship, so instead of going out to try to meet women, my objective is to get some sweet referral bonuses. Like, I'll be out and my friends, we'll chat into a girl and they'll be like, what are you doing later? I want to get out of here. But I'll be like, what are you doing later? Have you considered Uber? <laughs> or maybe a lovely stay in an Airbnb? <laughs> if you do use Uber, get your goddamn minty. <laughs> um, I'll, leave you... <laughs> I'll leave you on this. Uh, dating can be pretty tough. I remember when I was single, I went on a date with a girl. Well, I thought it was a date, but it turns out it was a pyramid scheme seminar. <laughs> It was for some health product and was like, I don't need that, I've already got Photoshop. <laughs> I should have got the hint when I was chatting to her at the bar and I'm like, well, what do you like to do for fun? And she said, passive income. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't a complete idiot. I knew if I played my cards right, then in only two years, I could become an elite power member. So if anyone's interested in improving their health tonight, I'll be handing out cards after the show. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Give it up for Max.